In just a couple of months, Mars is going to be the coolest thing to photograph in the night sky, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm Dylan O'Donnell, and this is the Mars 2018 Opposition. As Mars and the Earth pass around the Sun, Earth is on the inside track. So as it's passing Mars, it overtakes, which actually causes a retrograde motion, and it looks like Mars is going backwards if you're tracking it from night to night. But as it passes, it has a close approach, and that means that backyard photographers can photograph Mars looking apparently bigger than it normally does. This is how it looked in the opposition of 2012. It was pretty big, but Mars will appear different sizes throughout the year, depending on where we're at in our orbits. This is how it looks today on March the 8th. In telescopes, you're going to struggle to get much surface detail, but wait until July 27th. On that close approach, this is how much larger it's going to look. It's going to be a great thing to photograph, and if you're getting into planetary astrophotography, you should start practicing on Saturn and Jupiter, just to get a feel for what's involved and so you don't get caught out during the opposition. Now, the best night to take the photo is on July the 27th. It will still look really big any time that week, really. I'll be photographing the opposition this year with my Celestron C95 Edge HD, uh, which is pretty good. I, obviously, I'd prefer a 14 inch, but this is a really good performer. I'll also be shooting with a ZWO 174mm, which is a monochrome camera attached to a Teleview 2.5 PowerMate. If you can get a uh, 2.5 times magnifier, whether it's a Barlow or PowerMate or whatever, that's really good for planetary photography. If you are shooting in mono, you'll want a filter wheel, just red, green and blue filters, so that you can combine those exposures into a colour image. Shooting in monochrome means you get a lot more detail than you do with colour because it has to divide between three pixels of red, green and blue. Whereas the um, efficiency and the sensitivity of a monochrome camera means that you get way more detail. Those things will be attached to the rear cell of the telescope. You want to avoid using a diagonal like this and then putting the camera down in above the mirror here. If you can get rid of any kind of glass in your optical system, the less the better. So going straight from the rear cell into the filter with into the camera is definitely the way to go. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and send me any questions you have and I look forward to seeing your photos. Clear skies.